गाइस वेलकम टू फर्ट ट्यूटोरियल्स सो गाइस टुडे आई क्रिएट बाउंसिंग बॉल एनिमेशन विद यूजिंग शेडर इफेक्टर सो फर्स्टली गाइस आई टेक स्पेयर एंड आई इंक्रीज स्पेयर सेगमेंट्स सो आई गो टू डिस्प्ले सेलेगॉर्ड शेडिंग लाइंस यस गाइस सेगमेंट्स इंक्रीज आई टेक लाइक रैंडमली 250 यस एंड क्रिएट एब्स्ट्रैक्ट शेप सो गाइस आई टेक this one displacer this one so guys select this displacer and make child with spare yeah guys select this displacer and i go to shading and go on here shader and take noise yes and click on here guys go to scale size global scale size i take 700% yes and animation speed i take 1 Yes, and guys, go to back and play. Yeah, guys, see, I create this type of animation. So now I increase frame. Frame I take like five hundred. Yes. Yeah. Great. Okay. So guys, create abstract shape. So go to back, and I go to object here, and height I take like hundred. Yes. Guys, little bit more. I take like three hundred, yeah, three hundred is good. See guys, right? Stand hundred percent and height I take three hundred centimeter. Okay, so guys, that's my animation. So now I create object. So I take again spare and spare radius I take five centimeter. Yes, and take cloner this one. So guys, select this spare and make child with cloner. Guys, select cloner and object. Use more to object and select this one spare. This one. Select drag and drop in object. Yes, right. Okay. So guys, I increase count like two thousand. Yes, and hide this spare. Hide and hide on render. Yes, and. Go to back and play. Yes, see guys, right? That's my abstract shape. Okay, now guys, apply collider. Actually, rigid body tag on cloner. So select this cloner and right click and go to simulation tag and use rigid body. Yes, and force. Follow position. I take fifty and fifty. Yes. Okay. So guys, also go to collision inheritance tag. Apply tag to children and individual element. Use all. Yes. So guys, go to back and play. Yeah. Right. See guys, that's really good. Guys, you can change some shape animation. Shape change position. So stop. So select this cloner and enable scaling check. Yes, and scale size I take like fifty percent. And play. Yeah, this one is also better. Right, guys, little bit increase more scale size. I take like eighty percent. So go to back and play. Yes, this one is also better. Actually, take seventy. Yes, seventy is good. Yes, see guys, that's my abstract shape, right? And now, guys, I apply colorful shader effect for using shader factor. So stop. And guys, select this cloner and use shader factor. This one. Yes, right. And parameter is good. Go to shading. This one, and take noise. This one, guys. Yes, and click on noise, guys. Same. Global scale. I take seven hundred percent, and space. I use object. Yeah. Animation speed. I take same one, and go to down, guys. I change some low clip. High clip, brightness and contrast. Change. 
I take like low clip. Take this one. Actually, take forty five percent. Yes, and high clip decrease. High clip like seventy. Yes, and brightness little bit increase. I take like one is good, and contrast. Increase. Yes, I take contrast like seventy. Yes, see guys, that's my shapes. Okay, so guys, go to back and play. Yeah, right. It's really good. Okay, so now guys, go to back and go to parameter and color mode. I take. Off, yes, and copy this shader. Press Control C and V. Yes, guys, select this cloner, and I go to Effector. Select this shader one, drag and drop. Yes, and go to shader one, and same guys, go to shading, and shader. This time I use Colorize. Yes, and parameter color mode I tick on. Effector color. Yes. Go to back and play. Yes, guys, you can change this color pattern. I show you how to change this color. So go to shader one, and I go to shading, and click on here. Click and see, guys, that's my gradient. So stop and go to here. Click on this small icon, this one, and load preset, and take any one. This one. See, guys, that's my. Color pattern, right? Select this one. Yes. Okay. So guys, I change some color correction. So stop. So first one, I take blue. The color code is two hundred, hundred, and hundred. And second one, I take white. White color. Yes. And third one. I take like orange. The color code is twenty five hundred and hundred. Yes, right guys. See, that's my color correction. It's really beautiful. Okay, so render preview. Yes. Okay, so guys, now I apply HDR light for lighting. So I go to create and create new material. Open. And color uncheck, reflection uncheck. Only select luminance, and apply HDR light. This one. So guys, you can download this HDR light from my website. It's free. And yes, guys, all is good. So close, and use sky. Apply on HDR light on sky, and use compositing tag. This one, and scene by camera uncheck. Yes. Okay, so guys, render preview. Yeah, great. Guys, now I apply reflection in sphere. So how to apply reflection? So create again new material. Open and I go to color and go to texture. Guys, go to move graph and use color shader. This one. Yes, and apply on cloner. Yes, and again open this material, and this time I go to reflection and take add key and use reflection legacy. Yeah, and guys brightness I take like twenty five thirty is depend on your work like this. See guys, now this is really shiny effect, right? Okay. So render preview, yeah, this one is much better, right? Okay, so guys, lastly, create material for background. So use background this one and create material. Go to color reflection and check color. I take dark blue. The color code is two hundred, hundred and fifteen. Yes. So apply on background. Yeah, and render preview. Yes, much better, right? Okay, 
so guys all is good my animation is finished now i go to render setting lastly like this camera angle like this yes guys you can create actually apply also delay factor for more smoothness so select this cloner and use delay and strength i take 60 and mode i take spring yes and play yeah this one is also better right okay so guys my animation is finished now i go to render setting and same mb occlusion guys global illumination indirectly catch a record density i take low yes anti select best otherwise you can take geometry and go to save file path guys i take jpeg sequences and create new folder like renders and take any file name output use all frame so guys that's it and yeah maximum sam 1 to 8 accuracy 100 percent yes so guys that's it it's my render settings finish and render open right okay so guys my animation is finished so if you like my video please share and subscribe my youtube channel thank you